Hello everyone, it's VCL Per here, and eSports just released an update for the game FIFA 20. So this is title update number 2. In this video, I'll be explaining you what changes are there in this game now. And first of all, they've mentioned that this update is live on PC and will be coming soon for PS4 and Xbox One users. So PS4 and Xbox users have to wait a bit more. Now under gameplay, they have just wrote that they have made all the changes based on the feedback they've got from users. And in future also, they will be making changes according to the feedback they will get. Now let's come to the main point. So goalkeepers. Goalkeepers will be more likely to push the ball further away from the net when they make a save that would result in a rebound. Now they have also made some changes to the penalty. So they have explained it with the help of this image. As you can see, this yellow box is the range of goalkeeper in saving the kick, penalty kick when he's standing still. Now they have increased this range as you can see here this red line after this red line they have extended it on the left side and also on the right side now while the keeper is standing still during the penalty his range is extended that is he will be more likely to save the kick now now let's come to the next point that is dribbling they have improved the responsiveness in the dribbling when not using any dribbling modifiers or skill moves for the players that have an average rating of 80 or higher between the attribute of dribbling agility and balance so these changes are only for the users who have an average rating of 80 or higher for these three attributes that is dribbling, agility and balance. And in the second point, in the point they have just explained the effectiveness of the improvement will scale based on the average rating with the least improvement being felt at 80 and the most at 99. And here also they have explained that this will only affect the players who have an average rating of 80 or higher for these three attributes. Now contain and secondary contain. So they have explained it with the help of a video. So I will provide I will be providing you this link in the description of this video. So you can watch that video here. So low driven shots. They have made some changes to the low driven shots. As you can see, low driven shots were being impacted by more error than other types of shots when being taken in easy shooting situations, such as when there is a low defensive pressure. So they have made changes. You, this can be easily explained with the help of this image, as you can see. So before the update, when you were taking low driven shots, only these blue lines were on targets if you were taking 100 shots. Now after the update as you can see the range of these shots is really close to the goal now. Even the shots that are not going in the goal they are not just spreading like this before the update as you can see. So they have made a major change in the low driven shots. Now let's come to the passing. They have reduced the effectiveness of lofted ground passes and lofted through passes by increasing the amount of error present when making these passes. This can be again explained with the help of this image. Before, as you can see, all these blue lines were going towards the uh, towards the receiver. As you can see, it is a very really precise pass. Lofted pass were really precise. But now, after the update, you can see they are spreading a lot more, and the chances of error is a lot more in lofted passes. And same for the lofted through balls, as you can see here. Before the update, it was something like this, and now it's spreading a lot. Now gameplay Volta football. So they have made a single change in the Volta football gameplay that is long distance shots taken from the shooter side of the pitch will now be impacted by more error. As you can see in this image, before the update long driven shots were not that off target. As you can see blue lines are a lot more as compared to after the update. As you can see all the black lines and blue lines how much they are spreading and how much off target are long range shots. Now last point is FIFA Ultimate Team. So it is a big article on FIFA Ultimate Team. So you have to read it all to, to have a better insight of what is happening in FIFA Ultimate Team after this update. So I'll be providing this link in the description of this video. So just read all the points and you will understand what's the changes. So that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe for more.